Hi, welcome back to the Tinkerage. There's a new channel uh, started recently on YouTube, Al's Hack Shack. Fantastic channel. I think it's going to go a long way. That it's going to get a lot of subscribers. Already doing very well. Al built himself a fantastic bench. I made a point of emphasizing that it's very important to stay hydrated in the workshop. Now, if you follow him on Instagram uh, and even on YouTube, you'll know that he received a bottle opener from Steve at Moonshine Metalworks. And then, just a little while later, uh, Keith at Asgard Woodturning sent him another bottle opener. Now, I think actually that this is, uh, has potential for uh, a great collection uh, to start for Al. Uh, I think every man deserves to have uh, some sort of collection. And I think it's just right that he has uh, a collection of uh, bottle openers. So I've started a, an Instagram hashtag, uh, which I'll put down below. And I think it'd be great if people could make bottle openers and, and send them to Al. So I'm going to get working on a, a bottle opener of my own. Okay, so the rough cut's done on the bandsaw, but I'm a little bit unsymmetrical at the moment, even though I made a symmetrical template. So I just need to tidy that up a little bit. Okay, note to self, I must remember that the my DSLR only has a 20 minute recording time. Um, I've just spent a good half an hour sanding and this is starting to take shape. I need to just sort out the top here. Might take this down a bit further, I might do some of that by hand. Bring that shape around to the front. Okay, I've finished with the Belt sander for a while. Now I need to do a little bit of work on the rasp to get that a bit lower there. Uh, so we maintain the lip. For this particular bottle opener, uh, I'm actually going to create a little inset using a force and a bit, then just chisel down to the edge. I'm going to locate a washer so that the crown cap will fit into the gap. The washer will catch the edge, and then with the application of a little bit of leverage, the cap will come off and the beer can come out. So, I've inserted a second little hole with a force and a bit, which will hold a magnet, so that will catch the crown cap once it's levered off.
Okay, the washer is 25 millimeters in diameter. Okay, so I've put on a couple of coats of satin varnish left over from coating some skirting board. Okay, so I'm going to secure a, a small magnet in this hole here. It's quite a tight fit, but the epoxy resin uh, will help hold that in place. I'm also going to epoxy in a washer and secure it with a screw, uh, and that will be the action to take the crown cap off with the magnet, then hopefully catching that crown cap uh, so it doesn't drop on the floor. Um, then, just in case of packaging it up and sending it to Al. So we're done. Just need to wait for the epoxy to dry. I'll give that uh, a few minutes. And although it's just half past ten in the morning, I'm very tempted to test it and uh, try this bottle of porter that's been sitting on the bench here for the past week. Okay, the uh, epoxy's set now. I've got a bottle of beer. Got a bottle opener. Let's just do a test. Yes. And the magnet worked. Cheers, Al. <laughs>